Now I'm going to talk about a book that blends in with my shirt, uh, Smiley and the Hero, which, oh, I forgot the last one, didn't I? It was done in uh, 2011, and um, I remember them talking about it on like uh, Unshaved and um, Not Cast back in the day. I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops, and I'm like, oh man, I really love um, Not Tube, like, because like back in the day, you know, everyone knew, knew Tube or Not Tube. And, like, I really want to get his first published work, other than, like, a short story somewhere. And then I'm like, I'm like oh, I'll get it next time, I'll get it next time. And then I, I got it in um, the, the Badger box that Fair Planet did, like, a year or two ago now. Um, I feel like if I go and actually look what year they did it, I'll be I'm like, oh, shit, is that far away? But, um, so I, I ended up getting it, and uh, oh, I don't mind my 90s Australian footballer here. And, um, so I got it, and, um, I, I don't know how long I, I guess I will talk about it, because I guess my main point is, like, it's a really good book, I quite like the story, it's just, I didn't like the story, if you get what I'm saying, like, it's not really a story for me, like, I could appreciate, like, oh, yeah, that's actually really good, it's just like, oh, but I, I didn't really care, <laughs> uh, which sounds really mean, but I guess it's, Kind of, kind of true. Um, I don't think there was actually any any dull parts um, or any parts that were hard to read, which I guess I'll go in my next video. And um, and yeah, so it's it's about this. Oh oh fuck! <laughs> After I finished reading, it, I was trying to explain it to a friend, and I explained it so fucking bad. Like, oh, this guy wants to be a hero, and he kills this gangster and then saves the day, <laughs> but doesn't really. And um. Oh, that was like such a hard. He's like, you're so bad at synopsis. I'm like, what? And um, and then I was trying to, ex I was to explain it to someone at work, and I did another horrible job. And um, so basically, there's this um, Johnny who's a rabbit, and he lives in um, this this island, a small island town, um, which. That was one thing hard for me to grasp, is just, like, the idea of the setting of this story. Like, to me, I'm like, why don't the, the police or someone come solve this? But I guess, you know, I'm kind of lucky not to have that, that um, I guess, that third world mindset where, like, the police can be paid off and the gangster can literally run and own a town and drive into, like, a shit fest of poverty and shit. And, um... And, uh, yeah, so they're on this small island town, it's going to shit, it's just a fucking shitty place. And Johnny wants to save the day and be like his dad, who was this, uh, uh amazing, uh, kind of lifesaver dude. Like, when people were drowning, he'd swim out there and save them and bring them back. And, um, he goes to sell, like, the last, like, expensive possession that his family owns, which is, like, uh, his mother's clarinet, um... And then he, he goes to goes Jack and the Beanstalker, trades it for this key, which leads to the back of um, the big gangster bosses, uh, Smiley O'Harrigan um, Club, Cloud Nine. He gets this key for the gangster's lair, and he goes in there. And then, um, I think this is a lot. I guess it's like, oh, like, uh, yeah. And then, you know, story happens, but uh, I don't really care, which is so me, but it's really good. I mean, it's good. It's, I just don't really care. Um, I think the gangster sister's in there, and then he, he gets some money, and then, like, which leads to a plot to, to get to take down Smiley. And then, um, uh, Spoilers, turns out his dad used to be a, a, a gangster underneath Smiley. And then there's a bit of shit there where Johnny's pissed at his mother because she was lying. And then um, uh, he, he eventually kills, um, well, eventually he ac or Smiley accidentally falls off a cliff and dies. And then um, Johnny thinks he saves the day when the police come in and bust in. And then uh, basically um, the... the Smiley's sister um, uh, takes over and pays the cops, and is like, you know, just, just, she doesn't really solve the problem, but kinda, like, she's not as, like, fucking crazy and psychotic as Smiley, but she's still, you know, leader of all these gangsters. 
and um, and that was that was a nice um, change, I guess, on the the trope. I really liked, but then it kind of set it up because I mean, it, the whole story had that kind of point of view where it's like, oh, you know, just take it out. This guy won't solve all the problems. Like, there, there's still a gang of gangsters. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, oh. Yeah, but no, nah, but yeah, but no, nah, but yeah, but no, nah, but I'll save the day. Be a hero. And, um, and yeah, and which pretty much comes out to be true. And then the epilogue is him, um, he's got all this money, basically. And then he, he starts, you know, trying to fix it slightly by, um, <clears throat> trying to return everyone's stolen possessions by, like, buying them back with the, the money that he stole to to get the stolen fins back from the pawn shops or something. I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it's, it, it's strange, it's a pretty dark story when you think about it, it's just, um, it does, the writing doesn't really make it sound that dark, which I guess is a really strong point, like, if, because if you really think about it, it sounds like a real shit of a place to live, but I guess, because it's mostly from Johnny's perspective, it's all, kind of happy, it's like, oh, there's always, like, that silver lining, there's always that hope, there's none of that, like, despair, like, oh, what do I do, it's like, oh, how can I do this, and, um, that's really cool, um, because, it, because, it, like, he's, back in the day, he was, he was saying, oh, it's like a young adult fiction, and it, it does feel like that, it still feels like very, like, kid movie kind of thing, but it's, it's really quite dark, <clears throat> considering that Johnny takes a gun to shoot a smiley at the end, um, and there's all this drug use and, and whatever. I guess that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, as I said, like it's it's actually a really good story. It's just you know not for me. I mean, my friend's like, oh, it's because it didn't have fucking sex in it. I'm like, well, no, but I don't. I I do like stories about relationships and really strong characters. And yeah, this has like yeah, really good characters. And not really heavy on the relationship. I mean, there's light things there, but I really, I really like those con those contemporary or, or whatever ones that are really strongly about relationships and people and characters. Because I really like strong characters where it's like, oh, but what is what is that side character doing right now? And um, which I guess is why I'm not really big into like a fantasy where it's more about the journey and and the stuff that happens along the way. And um. If, Thrillers are good. I quite like, quite like um. I quite like Agatha Christie, actually, because I read because. Oh yeah, shit! So I I got Carl Gold's um Agatha Christie novella book. And I'm like I need to read some Agatha Christie before I read this, you know, to know what I'm going into. And my mum, um, back when she was young, a secretary. Uh, someplace, she, she read all the Agatha Christie books, and so, like, I asked her what ones I should get, so I read, um, obviously, The Murder on the Orient Express and Body in the Library, and they, I mean, they're really good, but I'm not talking about them, <laughs> I'm talking about Smiley and the Hero by Ryan Campbell, which, I mean, you should get, like, um, I don't know how good he's developed, <clears throat> I don't know how good his no novels are. Um, it was a God of Clay and God of Fire, and then I, I can't remember the last one. And I think he might have a, another novella, um, or, or not. <laughs> but um, yeah, like if you're not big on the sex and you want a pretty good book in the fandom, 